If you use VLOOKUP a lot, you may be wondering if that last argument to specify true or false is really necessary. After all, it can seem to get it right even when you don't specify. In this example, I've got Microsoft's historical stock price, and I'm going to look up the stock price based on a certain date. In this example, I've entered October 31st, 2025. I'm going to set up my VLOOKUP function to look up that value within this range and return the second column from it. And I'm going to leave that last argument blank. I'm just going to close out my formula here, and it returns a value of 517.81. If I go down to October 31st, the price is 517.81. So it is correct. It is pulling in an exact match, even though I have not specified it. What if I enter November 1st, 2025? This was a day the stock market wasn't open. It still returns 517.81. So it's giving me an approximate match in this case, even though I haven't specified. So it works for approximate match and exact match. And I haven't specified that I want either of those. It, it's effectively doing that for me. It's making that assumption. But this is working because the data is sorted in ascending order. Once I resort this, in the opposite direction, it no longer works. Now it's returning a value of 408.46, and that is the last value in this range. So because it's not in ascending order, now VLOOKUP is not working properly now that I haven't specified that true or false argument. And the true argument wouldn't work if it's not in ascending order anyways. If I specify this to true, it's still incorrect. It still gives me 408.46. So that is not the correct value for November 1st, because this is November 3rd, 2025, October 31st, 2025. So it should be around this area if it was an approximate match, which it's not. And this is the danger with VLOOKUP, because it's, it can return a value, and you don't see that there's an error here, because there's not an error message. It's just pulling in a value, but it's the wrong one. So it's a really easy and dangerous mistake to make. Now, if I change this last argument to false, now it's going to look for an exact match. Now it's going to give me an, an error when it's not found. Now, if I enter October 31, 2025, it's going to work and pull in that value, even though it's not in ascending order. So it's a good best practice to always use the true or false argument at the end, just to make sure you're not making any unnecessary assumptions and mistakes. At the very least, if you're entering false and the value is not found, then you know it's not found. But as you can see, when your data isn't sorted in ascending order, there can be all sorts of problems with using VLOOKUP when you're not specifying that last condition. For more tips like this, check out howtoexcel.net and my YouTube channel, at H2E.